So good morning and today I'm talking about repurposing videos. So this is something that I think is a great tool for people that don't have a lot of time, especially fitness professionals that obviously can do videos very easily with exercise demos and just talking about, you know, what they talk to their clients every day about. So I just want to run through how you would do this. So this is my flow chart. It's super simple, it's a step-by-step -step process and this is what I do with my clients. So you start at the top, so you either, um, I would suggest you do a Facebook Live because obviously this gets a lot more coverage, but if you're a bit of a wuss, you can do a Facebook video which you upload natively. So then what you do is you download the video from Facebook and put it in your Dropbox, okay? So from there you upload the video to YouTube and then you um, add subtitles and download the SRT file. Then you upload the SRT file to the Facebook video that, or the uh, Facebook Live that you've already done. Okay? And using that SRT file, the same one, you convert it to text. So you edit the full video and embed that as a blog. Okay? Using the SRT text as, as you know, the file that we've made, you can then clean out for the blog post okay you can also create um a blaf a sorry a blog post graphic in canva and then um you can upload it to wordpress medium and linkedin and then complete the blog syndication so this is basically putting it everywhere so just getting it out there so everyone can see it for you the same srt file that we've downloaded from youtube you can then you know take out 20 quotes, you can do more if you want, um, obviously, but 20 quotes is kind of from a 15 minute video should be quite e easy. And then what you do with those quotes, is you create Canva uh, graphics so you can then upload those to Instagram and Facebook. And then with them, you can schedule them out to be distributed over the different uh, platforms. I would use um, ifthisthenthat.com to ensure that the Instagram posts are automatically um, shared on Twitter and Pinterest. So we're going to go over here now. So this is something else that you can do. So from the same video that you uploaded from uh, to Dropbox from Facebook, you upload the video to iMovie and create snippets of videos. So and these are quotes. You then schedule these snippets to be pinned and tweeted. You also um, can uh, with the main points of the video. So these are longer than the snippets. So if it's a video with like five or six points. You would then create um, five or six maybe videos and then create a thumbnail for each of these videos. You would upload those to uh, YouTube and schedule them on social media. You would also pin these five videos to your Pinterest board and then you could use the information to create a graphic. So it's just making sure that you're getting the best out of it. And there's just one more. So from that same video that you've um, uploaded to Facebook or it's, you've taken from Facebook Live that's in your Dropbox, you strip out the audio, okay, so this is from the video, and then you upload the video and the audio to be edited, and then all you do is you upload that to iTunes for your podcast. So that is how you do it. So from one video, you can do all of that in a step-by-step -step process. Hope that helps, guys. Take care now. Bye.